Hi everyone, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local only Plano newscast. This week we start with a special visit from an old friend. Mario Reyes is the mayor of Genaro Codina, Mexico, in the state of Zacatecas. He requested a meeting to discuss economics, education, and to compare our government with theirs. Mayor Reyes has a special place in his heart for Plano. He was one of our residents. He graduated from Plano Senior High. He met with and exchanged gifts with Council Member Rick Grady. Mayor Reyes presented our council member with candies and liqueur made from their local agricultural products. He in turn received a glass decanter with an engraved city logo and our mantra, City of Excellence. Mayor Reyes and Grady agreed to propose cultural exchanges between our two cities. The Bigger and Better Davis Library reopens this weekend. Everyone's invited to come out Sunday, May 15th to see the new space and enjoy an array of fun and festive activities. The Davis renovation is a great example of your bond dollars at work. Construction on the $5.3 million renovation project began in April of last year. Closing the library in December allowed crews to work faster and safer while keeping patrons and staff out of harm's way. As a result, Davis Library is reopening earlier than originally planned, which of course saved money. A voter approved bond referendum in 2017 funded the project. Among the improvements, a doubling in size of the children's area, the addition of a dedicated children's program room, new study rooms, and additional meeting rooms. How would you like to help shape the future of the Plano Police Department? They are conducting an annual citizen survey to ensure the department is meeting the community's needs and expectations. 1,000 randomly selected households throughout the city will receive surveys in the mail. There is also an online option. The survey poses key questions to assist the department in determining citizen perceptions of safety, quality of life, and quality of police services. The survey also allows residents to convey their priorities for enforcement. This feedback serves as a report card and provides insight into the process of establishing goals, enhancing training, and shaping the future of the police department. To take the online survey, go to share.plano.gov slash police citizen survey. We are excited to be offering an important opportunity to our community once again. For the first time in two years, we're holding our Senior Information and Wellness Fair. Write down this date and time, Monday, May 16th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Sam Johnson Recreation Center, located at 401 West 16th Street. 50 vendors will be on hand to provide health screenings, exercise class demonstrations, free chair massages, and a plethora of information on improving your health. That's Monday, May 16th, at the Sam Johnson Recreation Center. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. We'll see you next week.